here in Baltimore. Uh, on Sunday, that just passed, a lot of people have uh, heard about this death of a one-year-old. Uh, police are searching for the driver in this crash that killed a one-year-old boy. Um, a lot of people reporting about it. Um, actually, I heard it first on WBAL TV here in Baltimore. Uh, the driver of a Mercedes Benz mm -hmm. who allegedly led the police on a brief chase caused an accident, killing a one year old who was on a bus stop in, you know, like a stroller. Um, now, here's the strange part. Mm -hmm. The guy was admitted to a hospital and somehow he was released from the hospital he was. and the police are looking for him uh baltimore city that is wayne anthony green jr 38 years old um wow i don't even have it's his address here's uh 3416 mayfield avenue um now the police say that he is the leading like the suspect um, one-year-old Jeremiah Perry, Northeast Baltimore resident. What are we? What are we doing? <laughs> what are we doing? Go ahead. Okay. All right. So that that should be the uh, third one. Yeah, that should be the third one. Okay. All right. Um. So any anybody that um has information, obviously, uh, they want you to call nine one one. Uh, Green is wanted um, negligent manslaughter with an automobile um, and also attempt by a driver to elude police in official police vehicle, mm -hmm. failing to stop driving on a revoked license and privilege driving without a license. Mm -hmm. um, and, uh, you know, so this is obviously he didn't mean to kill this child. Right. Um, but his actions led to this child's death and they are definitely uh trying to um you know put that put that on his head did you see the pictures of the of the young child that passed away i saw the pictures of him um you know pre-mortem of course he um when i you know when i when i looked at it i you know he's he's a baby right he, um a lot of potential a lot of promise Right. Of which we won't, you know, we'll never get a chance to know. Um, they want to say that uh, when he went into the hospital, they had no reason to hold him. He wasn't, which I, I think. Well, they they're trying to say he wasn't. Called. They're trying to say he wasn't a suspect. He was actually suspect. talking to the side. They're trying to say that he was not a suspect. Yeah, they were trying to say he wasn't a suspect. Um, so they had no reason to hold him. Right. So he was able to leave the hospital, um, which is unfortunate. So now, you know, they're asking him to turn himself in. I mean, you know, so the police said that this driver was trying to escape from the police mm -hmm. after he rear-ended a Baltimore County police cruiser mm -hmm. following an investigation, right? right. Yes. Um, okay, so this, that evening. Now, he was taken into custody, and then he was taken to the hospital with these minor injuries. Yes, he was. Okay. Um, yeah. I don't understand how they don't have him. Yeah, I, I don't understand how he wasn't police escorted to the hospital. Maybe he was. I don't understand how they did not have somebody, you know, when you see yeah. these shows, they have police officers outside the door right. kind of situation. Right. I don't understand that part. Um, and that's what leaves me with pause, um, you know. Yeah. Unfortunately, it is not... You know, where's the justice for the family at this point? Where's this guy? Um, he needs to answer for it. I mean, clearly it's him. It's not like, you know, it was a hit and run. We don't know who this person is. So, you know, my, my prayers are out to the family. And I hope that he does turn himself in or they, they find him. Right. You know. Um, now, Baltimore City Police spokesman T.J. Smith said, that he would only confirm that the driver of this vehicle was not released from the hospital by the Baltimore Police Department. They're saying that we didn't have anything to do with that, even though we weren't watching them. Right. It's not, uh, it wasn't our fault. All right. So basically, they're saying. <laughs> so they're it's blaming not it on the their, hospital. Right. It's not they're blaming the it on the hospital. hospital, or maybe it wasn't their jurisdiction. Yeah. 
I, well, I mean, what they, they drove to the it? hospital. They're not. They're not saying what hospital it was. Oh, okay. Obviously. Okay. Um, so there's either. But, it, but you're from that side of town, right? Okay. So this uh, this happened uh, Mayfield. Well, no, I'm sorry. He's from Mayfield Avenue. Shade? Let me give you the. No, that wasn't Shade. I okay. So. so the the accident of the 5300 block of Moravia Road. Okay. Okay. I am familiar with the area. Now. Um, so this is so, so here's the here's the weird part about it. Okay, so the driver of the Mercedes mm-hmm. hit the back of a Volvo okay. near fifty three hundred Moravia Road. Okay. Now the Volvo jumped the curb okay. and hit the child mm-hmm. who was in a stroller at a bus stop. Okay. Okay. Now the driver of the Mercedes mm-hmm. is uh, Wayne Anthony Green. So that's what Junior. they are looking for. So that's what they're looking for. Right. That's who that's who was admitted to the hospital with some minor injuries. Okay. Now, um Where's the Volvo victim? Uh I don't know that. I don't okay. know that. They haven't they haven't released that, but we do know that the driver of the Mercedes, I'm assuming this is what caused the accident. Okay. So okay. So the Volvo, even though the Volvo was the struck actual, the child, yeah, struck the right. child. The, the driver of the Mercedes hit the Volvo. Oh, gotcha. uh, so this is like a sad thing, though. Effect, this this is a sad is thing. Very sad. Yeah. Um, so hopefully, you know, hopefully they're able to. Uh, yeah, I mean, they, obviously, no comfort is going to be able to um, come to the family. No. You know. 